The Cursors tab in the Preferences menu is where you go to change the look and feel of your cursor. Two ways to bring up the Cursors panel are Controller Command K, and then just come over here to the Cursors tab and click on it. Or you can go over to the Photoshop menu and Preferences, clicking on Cursors. Uh, on the Mac, it's going to be in the Photoshop menu, and on the PC, it'll be in the Edit menu down here by Keyboard Shortcuts and Menus. So let's jump into the Cursors menu and get started. There are a couple of basic, basic options when we're talking about cursors. The only options we basically have are to change the appearance of the actual cursor while we're working with our image. So this is the default cursor, normal brush tip. This is only going to apply to paint brushes. So when you pull up a paint brush, you see our normal tip, and we can draw with it. We come back in here, and we change that to standard. We're going to get instead the icon of the paintbrush. This is not necessarily as precise as the standard paintbrush, so I tend not to use this. I'm going to back up and just clear this out. Controller Command K, bring that back up, hit cursors. Precise just gives us crosshairs. Again, that's, it, this is really good for fine control, but the reason that I don't use this is because if we come back here to normal brush tip, hit OK. If you select caps lock, then that gives you a precise crosshair anyway. So undo caps lock, controller command K, back to cursors, full size brush tip. Let me show you the, the difference real quick between these two. This is mostly going to be noticed when you're using a soft brush. So full size brush tip, hit OK. This is the actual size of the brush. Okay. Uh, although it doesn't look like it's affecting that entire area because we have a, a layer of opacity there. There is some softness as you get to the edge of the brush. If you just click this once, toward the edge of this brush, let's just zoom in again, toward the edge of this brush, there are subtle blues. Probably easier for me to show you if we switch back to normal brush. So let me do that real quick. Cursors, normal brush tip, okay. I'll make another mark right next to this. Now this is the normal brush tip. And again, if you look really closely here, you can see that outside of the area of the normal brush tip, we've still left a mark. And the reason that is, is because like I said, this is a softer brush, so we have transparency. Let's go back into cursors here. Full size brush tip, you might use if you use a Wacom tablet, because when you have full size brush tip on, when you're using a Wacom tablet, the harder down you press, the thicker the mark you're gonna get. So full size brush tip will show you the absolute largest mark that you can make with your Wacom tablet by pushing down as hard as you can. Whereas the normal brush tip is going to show you kind of an average of the smallest line you can make and the largest line you can make. All right, next we have show crosshair and brush tip. I always like to leave this on just so I know where the exact center of the brush is. Show only crosshair while painting. This I tend to turn off because I like to see roughly where my mark is going to be made. I use a Wacom tablet. Normal brush tip throughout the entire length of my drawing helps me more than just showing a crosshair when I actually hit the canvas. For all the other cursors other than the painting cursor, the only options we have are standard and precise. Again, I leave this to standard just because if I want to, I can always hit caps lock and that's going to change it to precise anyway. And this way, just by looking at my cursor, I can tell exactly what tool I'm using. Let me hit OK, show you what I mean here. If I hit M, I know I'm using the marquee tool, hit L, that's obviously the lasso, V is obviously the move tool, hand tool. So like I said, I prefer the icons here because they're not going to be leaving a mark when I draw, and it tells me what tool I'm using. So that's basically it for the cursors menu. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below, and send any questions that you might have to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.